Speaker, copies of floor amendment number three offered by Representative George Fontaine regarding House Bill number 1101, House Draft 2, have been, copies have been placed on the member's desk. Representative Fontaine. I move that the amendment uh, to House Bill 1101 uh, pass. Representative Pine. I second the motion. Members, is there any discussion on floor amendment number three? Representative Pine. Yes, in support of the amendment, Mr. Speaker. Please proceed in support. Just to clarify what we're doing, it's just a technical thing uh, and something that is very important to our caucus. We, are, we would like to add this paragraph to this bill. Except as provided in this section, and notwithstanding any other law to the contrary, all fees collected under uh, 249-31 and deposited into the State Highway Fund and Emergency Medical Services Special Fund shall only be used for the purposes of the Highway Fund and the, uh, the Medical Services Special Fund and shall not be transferred to the General Fund or any other fund except for this purpose. And let me just give you some background, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for me personally, this is a very important issue. I never thought I'd be a politician. I was supposed to be in broadcast journalism right now. But one day, many years ago, um, I believe it was 2003, I was stuck on what they call Fort River Road in Eva Beach. Uh, this little uh, seven lane road, uh, seven uh, mile road used to take me 45 minutes just to get from my house to the top of the freeway. And I happened to also be working here, Mr. Speaker, and I realized that in 2003, and almost every year for almost a decade, that this legislature raided the highway fund. So what does that mean to people in areas like Eva Beach where traffic is at its worst? It means that we didn't help the people. Just like the people of Eva Beach were kind of abandoned last Friday uh, during the power outage, uh, we even back then, this legislature knew that we were going to have a major traffic crisis uh, in 1993 after all the homes that were approved there. But they didn't give us the roads that we needed back then. Even though we had the money, we had lots of money. For over a decade, We've raided over $144 million from the same fund that we're trying to fund today in many different bills by fee increases and tax increases. Back then, that meant a lot more than $144 million. Because during this time, this decade of the raid, we had this amazing matching fund program with the federal government. We had a one to four matching uh, funds for the federal uh, uh, government which means that technically this legislature really raid over a half a billion dollars from the highway fund because of the money that was in there. Mr. Speaker, this particular bill uh, is one of the Department of Transportation's, uh, well, how we will be helping the Department of Transportation according to this legislature's feelings of this issue. Uh, the Department of Transportation says that it's short 22 $0.9 million this year. Wow. It really makes me think, if back then, if this legislature, the same seats that we're sitting in now, if those people who voted every year for almost a decade to steal money from this fund, we wouldn't have to be doing what we're doing today. This basically almost doubles the state registration fee for our motor vehicles. I have to tell you, there's a lot of people in, in my district in Eva Beach that are really suffering right now. Because of the economy, they have lost their jobs. We have one of the highest uh, mortgage foreclosures in the state, Mr. Speaker. Uh, everything's going up, gas is going up, and we have to travel some of the farthest distances just to get to town. And so, to them, even a dollar is gonna affect their family. Because right now, some families tell me, Okay, well this month we decided we're gonna pay our electric bill. Next month instead, we're gonna pay the water bill. Next month instead, you know, we're gonna pay our, our car insurance. And so that's how they're living right now. So this is number one of the many fee increases that will be uh, imposed on people in the state of Hawaii. And this would especially help hurt my community because they definitely rely on their cars 
uh, to get to work, Mr. Speaker. And so it basically is just saying a commitment from us that we recognize what that legislature did for a decade that was sitting in our very seats, that we will be different. We will make a commitment to the people of Hawaii that we will never, ever, ever raid this fund to pay for things in the general fund ever again so that we will never affect your pocketbooks like we're doing today.